my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell down below as well to be notified of all of my future uploads. Of course, you guys have noticed that YouTube has been hiding certain videos and blocking certain videos. So if you don't have on your post notification bell for my channel turned on, you won't be notified of my videos. Okay, so before we do this unboxing and try on video about this wig that I'm super excited to do, I just wanted to address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am heavier. I am not pregnant, but I did gain 15 pounds. I have been taking Apatamin Syrup. This is a vitamin syrup and it basically it slows down your metabolism and it increases your appetite. So I have been eating so much. <laughs> I have been eating so much while taking this. The four places that I've noticed the weight has been going has been my hips, my butt, my thighs, and my face. My face is chubbier than it's ever been in my entire life. So you are able to see the dimples a little bit more. Although those dimples, honestly, I don't recommend anyone spending their money to get that because it was a waste of time, it was a waste of money, it was a waste of pain, it was a waste of everything. Those dimples are completely gone. Like they're literally 10% on my face. You can't really see them at all. So that's just a quick update about the dimples. My face is chubbier than it's ever been in my life and I do like the fact that my face is like, you know, becoming a little bit more rounder than just a long um, silhouette or structure. So yeah, my hips have been spreading. My mother has even noticed. She's like, what are you doing? Like you're you're getting a butt, you're getting hips. And I've noticed that my jeans are not fitting. When I sit down, I notice my thighs are spreading out. So this is not sponsored at all. I did pay for this stuff with my own money. I purchased it from a website that I found. I've been researching this for a while. Um, and I did decide to go with this particular website. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it somewhere here or I'll put it down below in the description box for you guys to click on. But the very first time that I took this, the very first week that I took this, I was extremely sluggish. I was extremely exhausted. But after my body got used to it, I did go back to my normal schedule and I was not as sluggish as I was. Um, but during the first week, instead of taking this three times a day, I did only take it two times a day because after the first day, I was like, this is too much. I'm becoming unproductive. I'm not getting any work done. I do work from home and I had to just lessen the dosages because it just wasn't working with my lifestyle. This is my third bottle of this stuff. I do have one more bottle left over. It has not gone to my stomach. My stomach is still the same size. Everyone is different though. So wherever your fat tends to go, this stuff will target that fat. I've never had a butt. I've never had like hips or anything like that. I feel like my silhouette has always been straight up and down. I do have boobs. I have a bit of hips, but they're, they were not what they are now. Um, so I am happy with the results that I have gotten from this stuff. I have not been working out while taking this. I've just been taking this and doing my regular routine. I don't normally go to the gym at all, but I am naturally really, really muscular. I have, very, I have a lot of muscles in my arms. My stomach has always had like a four pack. Um, and I've been the same size since middle school. I don't do anything extra. I do lose weight. But 130 is the typical weight that I have been my entire life. Okay. So let's jump right into what we're here for this wig review. Okay, so I'm excited about this video because I have been eyeing this wig for some time and it just came, it was just delivered to me. I did pay for this wig with my own money. I did buy about six or seven wigs online and I got a major discount because it was already on sale and then I had a promo code. This wig that I will be trying on today, the name of it is D and the color I got is color number 1B. This is a lace parting wig, 100% premium fiber lace parting. It says that you can wear her as it is, or you can cut the parting area and blend your own natural hair through the parting space, but we ain't gonna do that. Of course you guys know I don't, I don't do all that. I just put the wig on like a hat and keep it moving. I do like the fact that I did get a color number 1B because I feel like as of lately, the last couple of wigs that I got that were in a color number one were scary looking. Like they were too shiny, like Barbie doll hair, and I just was not feeling that. This is a color number one B, but it kind of looks like a one to me, and it's not shiny at all. It has a very natural luster, which I really, really like. One thing that drew me towards this wig is that it's very, very full, and it has a beautiful, like, old Hollywood wave pattern, which I'm just so in love with. So, taking her out of the package, I noticed that she has two um, combs here on either side of the part. 
she has a comb in the back and then she also has an adjustable strap in the back as well it looks like she has about three inches of parting space. So let me show you guys how the parting space is looking because I'm impressed with how it's looking so far. There aren't a lot of knots that I need to pluck. It actually comes looking pretty natural straight out of the box. And she, <laughs> this wig even has baby hairs, y'all. That's so cute. You cannot part her anywhere. She does just have the standard part here. But if you wanted to do a side part, you can reposition the wig for it to be a side part. But I'm going to zoom in and show you guys this baby hair and how natural the parting space looks already. As you can see, the lace is only where the parting space is. So although it has baby hairs, I guess that's optional. If you want to just put a little bit of gel on the wig after you apply the combs, but there's no way for you to glue it down on your head at all okay so like all of my wigs i am going to start in the back i'm going to secure the comb in the back and then i'm going to stretch her forward and then fix the front but i'm going to keep my eyes closed so that it could be a surprise i'm hoping for something good okay the cap is stretchy so it's definitely big head friendly I consider my head to be big and it does fit really good. It fits snug. It's a nice fit. And this is D. What do you guys think about her? Are y'all here for D? I mean, this reminds, <laughs> this reminds me of like 1920s. I don't know. Am I here for D? D is pretty. D is really pretty. Like, I, I ain't even going fake. D is a pretty unit. Let me try to fix her. Down. Like, I need her to be flatter here. I think she might be cute in a bob. I'm going to have to cut her into a bob after this video. Okay. So. Hmm. So there is a line of demarcation here. I'm gonna to have to go in and add some eyeshadow right here. I'm going to put my head scarf on and make sure that she's as flat as possible and mold to my head. And I'm gonna come back and show you guys how she's looking. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since I put my head scarf on. Hopefully it's flatter. It is. And I did have to go ahead and run my fingers through the wig because I noticed that it was like tangly looking. It's pretty, I like it. I like this wig a lot, oh, she is shedding. I did end up putting a little bit of concealer on the parting space, but this is how the part is looking. I did also want to mention that this wig has a yakky texture to her and she does tangle a bit. The length on this wig is really good as well. It does come past my boobs. <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you guys how long this wig is. Yeah. The wig is pretty long when you stretch it out. I am five foot seven and a half, if that helps. I think this wig is definitely something that you need in your wig closet, in your affordable wig closet, because it's just perfect. It's really, really, really cute, and it's a quick, instant glam look. So yeah, if you have been eyeing this wig, I say give it a go. She's really, really cute, especially for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up. I think this wig is perfect, perfect, perfect for that sexy, old Hollywood look. So yeah, let me know what you think about this wig down below in the comment section. Leave all of your comments there and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!